Welcome to this tutorial on how to add a follow alert to OBS. There are two great solutions out there. One is Night Dev's follow alert and the other is through Twitch alerts. Both have their pros and cons and I will go through each one in this tutorial. You can skip to either one by looking in the description box for the link in this video. You will need to have the CLR browser installed in OBS first of all. If you don't have the plugin installed, please see the description box below for the link on how to do this. Option 1. Night Devs Follow Alert. First of all, open your internet browser and go to nightdev.com forward slash follow alert. Okay, we'll go ahead and click the install button. And what that will bring up is one of six steps. Now the first step is using OBS. This is about the CLR browser plugin, which you should have installed already. If you don't, I have a link to a video in the description box. And down here, there is a link to the Mac version and a repackaged one from Windows. What this is, is this is repackaged for Night Devs follow alerts. So it will be less buggy. Um, I've used follow alerts on a Mac with the standard CLR browser and I've had no issues. And here you see we have a Dropbox login. If you haven't got Dropbox, um, you can sign up for a free account online. It's Google Dropbox. Okay, this is going to ask you for a Dropbox login. Once you have done this, just click on Login with Dropbox. This will redirect here. So I'll enter in the email password. And there we go, you can see that I'm logged in here. And what this is, is it's using your Dropbox account to host the images and the sounds. It provides a more long-term solution as Night Dev used to host the sounds, but after a week of inactivity, they were getting deleted. So this just provides a more long-term solution. So enter in your Twitch channel name. Now I'm just going to call it Twitch. The alert style, you've got six options at the top here. So you can select from a range of uh, shapes. Or you've got to use my own, so text left, centered and right. Uh, what this allows you to do is you can create your own image, upload it and choose where the text is put. For now we'll just use the default rectangle. I will make a more in-depth tutorial in a later video on how to make your own image. Um, if you have got your own image, once you've selected this here, you can actually choose file and upload the template. It says click here for the template, click there and it downloads it in PSD which is Photoshop format. As for the sound, they must be in OGG format. Why is that? It's because all the browsers can play that format. So if you've got a sound you would like to choose as well, you can attach that to it. Um, if you don't have it in OGG, you can click here and that'll go to an online converter. So if you've got something like an MP3, uh, which I have for the moment, you can um, convert it. So there we go. We've chosen that. Okay, and there we have it. So that's converted. So we'll go back to Night Dev. And we'll drag the sound on here. It, also, you have the transition style so you've got a the default fade a slide down left right or up so we're gonna have slide down okay once you are happy with uh, your alerts just click next and this will generate a hosted URL and this is basically what you want to copy and paste into OBS 
You can test to see what it looks like by adding this and preview equals true. And we'll go into a new tab and paste the URL. If we add this onto the end of the URL, and you can see we've got the Mario sound with uh, test user. As you see that slided in there and that's basically what it's going to look like. And at the bottom here, we've got the width and the height to set the browser source to, which I will show you how to do now. Okay, we're back in OBS now. And what we'll do is we'll add that follow alert to the stream. So we'll click the plus and browser source. And we'll call this follow alert. In the URL, we'll need to go back to Night Dev and paste all of this in. And set the width and the height. So width 580, height 110. There we have it. So we'll put this where we want this to come in. So we'll move it over here. To test that this actually works, what we can do again is we click on to the follow alert, go to the end of the URL, and add and preview equals true and press OK and that works. What you can do to test that then each time is to click on the follow alerts and restart CF OK And there you can see that it works. So this is how to add the follow alerts using Night Dev's solution. Yeah, and the next step you have here is if you have any additional styling you want to add, say for the text to change the font, for the alert itself to change the positioning of any elements you can do using CSS. I'll cover how to do this in another video. This is mainly for people using the version of OBS for Windows as currently the multi-platform version does not support injecting CSS to change the styles. Final step then is finished and that's how to add Night Dev Follow Alert to OBS. Okay, the second option you have is to use Twitch Alerts for the follow alerts. Um, Twitch Alerts is probably the easiest way to integrate with the stream. Also, they provide um, a lot of other tools to use as well. Um, the first thing you need to do is to launch Twitch Alerts. This will redirect you to connect with your Twitch account. So click on here and we'll authorize. And now we're in the dashboard. And on the left, we're going to go down to alert box. There's the legacy version as well, but that's the old version. So we'll skip that for now. And here you've got a, well, you've got an option to add follows, subscriptions, donations, and an alert for whoever's um, hosting your stream. So you've got the alert previews here so once the widget is open and running you can use these to test so we don't have to add in anything to the URLs test we can just click these buttons and go down here and you can select background color this is if you're sort of chroma keying out um, the background you can do this you've got a delay so we'll five seconds delay um, that's between the alerts 
and we can choose between three layouts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the default one here. So we'll go to follow alerts. First and foremost, we need to make sure it's enabled, which it is by default. This allows you to disable it should you be fortunate enough to get raided or if you have so many viewers that you're getting bombarded with follows. So we'll choose the default layout and an animation. A lot more variety to the animations here. I think we're going to go ahead and zoom in. Oh no, we'll bounce in. And the second parameter here is what it does when it fades. So we'll bounce out and the message template here. So in between the brackets, we've got name that's going to be whoever is following. So if Joe clicked, we'll come up Joe is now following. So you could essentially Joe is now following. Thank you, name. So that would say thank you, Joe. Next is the text animation. We'll keep that as a wiggle. And you can upload images here. So you've got GIFs. And I've already loaded a sound onto it. So you can choose the volume here. We'll turn the sound up a bit. I think that's made a difference to the preview, but it will do on the stream. And the alert duration, which will keep at 8 seconds. So below that, then you've got font settings. You can choose different fonts here. The size, so we'll increase the size a little bit. Say 70. These settings are entirely up to you and your preference of how you'd like to do this. Um, we'll go ahead and close that for now. And at the bottom, we've got a variation. So you can effectively save this one that we've done here. So we could save it as alert one, save. And you can add multiple ones there. And what that it can do is that can sort of cycle around randomly etc. So we'll delete that for now. We just want a basic follow alert. So click save. And there we have it now in the top here. This is our generated URL. We'll copy this and we'll go back into OBS. Click the plus button add browser source, we'll call this follower alert one ok and in the URL we'll add in this alert. As you can see here if we go back to Twitch alerts there is no height or width. Um, what this is is you can sort of specify how large you want the alert to be. I usually go for the defaults now and we'll bring this into the middle and to test this go back to Twitch alerts and you kind of test here yep so we'll test follow alert go back to our stream and now you can see that it works. Or you could click launch here and then when you click test follow alert it will also appear in this box. So this is one of the fastest ways of doing it and also it's pretty cool to manage all of your alerts should you have subscribers, any donation alerts. Um, you've got various options here I will cover how to do all of these things in a video dedicated to Twitch alerts because they have so many tools that you can add to your stream. Thank you once again for watching. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe.